Hey guys, what's up? I'm Charles. And I'm Jared. And right now, you are watching In Form. Overload. We're like the news, but without all the boring people that are old and have wrinkles and stuff. Except for me, because I'm actually 42, as you guys now know. He's 42. Secrets out. Don't forget to stick around till the end of the video, because me and Charles will be doing our best impression of Char Lit responding to some comments. And just to clarify why we're shaking so much, we decided to do this whole video on drunk. On drugs. That's why we're shaking. Let's do it. We're actually on one leg and it's like a challenge that we tried. I'm gonna try to actually do the whole video on one leg. In October 2014, Elon Musk's electric car company began rolling out vehicles with dozens of ultrasonic sensors discreetly installed in them. These, alongside several cameras, radar, and digitally controlled brakes, allowed for a variety of automatic features such as collision avoidance and automatic parking. Tesla used these features to collect data on how the systems worked and converted that into an update. Tesla 7.0, or more commonly known as autopilot. Like Damn! I just put it out there. Hey, your car now drives itself. What's up? After a certain set of parameters were reached, the cars were able to be set into autopilot, which allows them to travel along automatically, accelerating and slowing when needed, and even switching lanes. I could think of a whole list of people who would benefit from a computer driving their car instead of them, that's for sure. Obviously, the technology is still in its infant stages, but it's been in use for a short while now, and it's becoming increasingly impressive with what it can do. Take, for example, this story of a Tesla auto car in the Netherlands, which, by some stroke of wisdom, managed to predict a crash before it even happened and apply the brakes, thus avoiding a secondary crash altogether. Did you see what I just saw? Humans driving terribly. This is why we need to take control away from humans and put it into the hands of robots. But also, did you see that car slow right down and prevent the people inside from joining the pileup? Yeah, that was pretty impressive. The sensors in the vehicle must have been reading the road ahead and seeing the two vehicles get dangerously close to each other and initiated the brakes. Something a human would not have been able to do in time nor safely. I mean, I'm ready to sign up. Although I feel like autopilot will probably take a lot of the fun out of road trips. What do you think guys? This technology is clearly ahead of the rest of its competition, but are we ready for it? You gotta let us know in the comments down below. And on that note, let me just check my notes here. I think it's uh, time to uh, respond to some comments. Yeah. Disrespect is respect said. Mum said, if I can get five likes, she will become a robosexual. I liked it. I liked it too. I think you got more than five likes. You so. got, no, I actually didn't like it. I was gonna like it, but last I saw it was like seven, I think. They've beat five likes. That just goes to show the power of IO when human beings get together, what we can achieve as a race, as a species, as a one. Your mum is now a robosexual. Congrats. Derpy Birdie said, I'm planning on marrying one of my cats. Don't know how to say your cat's name. So this? I don't, so this? I don't know. Well, look, do feel like it's not a robot, anything. so. And a cat might love you back, even though cats are pretty selfish animals. That's true. And finally, Morgan Amir said, is Jared dating Charlotte? Oh my God! How did they find that? Did you, I thought we were keeping this a secret. Why do you guys keep asking? <laughs> Is this, obviously Charlotte's gone over to Italy to prepare for the big wedding. Look, you know what? We're having an I.O. wedding, guys. My Tinder profile does say I wish I was Italian. Charlotte's Italian, I want to marry an Italian girl. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Maybe if you lock but her we gotta get But we gotta get a girl, we gotta get a girl for Charles, guys. So, if there's any like mid-30s to early 40-year-olds out there that want to date this young 42-year-old male over here, just drop us a comment down below. <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, we really do. Obviously, we have a lot of fun working together. We hope you guys have just as much and watching us. This is it, that's it, thanks for watching. Enjoy your videos and don't do drugs. Yeah, we were actually on one leg for like the first 30 seconds of this video. I'd say at least five minutes. All right guys, happy <laughs> new year. We'll see you guys soon.